And that's not all. Bryant Reed spoke to PennDOT today to learn more about some of the dangers their workers will face. It's already been a dangerous year for construction workers from drivers not paying attention. With heavy road projects like the bridge you see behind me, PennDOT wants to make sure that drivers know the rules of the road. 96, that's the number of times drivers have driven into construction zones in 2021 statewide. 18 of those have resulted in injuries, and as one of PennDOT's biggest projects is ongoing, leaders wanted to rehash road etiquette to keep their workers safe. Pennsylvania has passed the move over law that requires drivers to slow down and switch lanes when approaching a downed vehicle and also has speed enforcement in place to deter drivers from going too fast in work zones. With concrete repairs, bridge painting and steel repairs happening on the Neville Island Bridge for the foreseeable future, PennDOT says it's enough workers have to worry about job safety. They don't need the stress of worrying about reckless drivers too. Although we do have a, a slightly less amount of folks travel, uh, traveling on the roads this year, the, the speeding numbers are actually increased and the fatalities have increased uh, since the pandemic actually started. As for when the Neville Island Bridge project will be done, drivers can expect to see a few more northbound closures this year, southbound closures next year, and the total $42 million project will be complete in 2023. I'm Brian Reed, KDKA News.